Hello. 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 Epic Diva. Diva. I am Epic Diva. I am Diva Vocals. I am Diva Vocals. I am No Effects. No kitty cat. No. Stay there. You stay there. Because we are about to play a song. Monitor on. Oh no. You see, the mic on GarageBand stopped working because it's playing on iMovie and I show you HD. Well, you can't go up there, Kit Kat. And I know you like the smell of that fucking weed, but you can't go up there. Go. Music, hello. Check on. One, two. Not yet, Kitty Cat. Let me record a song. Let me record a song, okay? Chorus. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just as phenomenal Just as, as the auto itself, itself is, is, is the, uh, effects. Where did music come from? Why do we have it? At first blush, you might say, well, Maybe we had it early on before we had language. Because that's all there was. But now that we have language, why do we need it? Why is it stuck around so long? Friendship, joy, knowledge, comfort, religion, and love. Language is largely a literal form of communication. Music is largely metaphorical. The reason it's preserved in our species because it is an effective form of emotional communication. Emotional communication. Music has been regarded by many ethologists and biologists as an honest signal for reasons we don't fully understand. Music has been... The evidence points to three distinct changes in a particular area of the human brain, the prefrontal cortex. When you hear music you like, it activates the pleasure centers of the brain. The same areas that are activated when you take certain drugs, cocaine, opium. The same centers that are activated when you have an orgasm. If you listen to music you like, the nucleus accumbens, the ventral tegmental area, Sorry, these aren't household names, but they modulate dopamine levels in the brain, and dopamine is the so-called feel-good hormone. Typically, the way we're feeling when we're sad is because we feel misunderstood. We feel cut off from other people. When people are sad, they instinctively, typically, reach for sad music. Now, why would that be? Well, there's a psychological and a neuro explanation. There's evidence that listening to sad music releases prolactin, a tranquilizing hormone that's released when mothers nurse their infants. And that gives us a kind of sense of well-being. When you're sad, you put on a piece of sad music, you're no longer alone at the edge of the cliff. There's somebody else there with you. They understand what, they're, what you're feeling.
don't think of it as getting a shot of apple juice when the right music comes on. Thank you.